Hey yogis, good morning or afternoon or good evening. Welcome to your practice. We begin with the eyes closed in a comfortable seat. So that can also be a chair or a couch. As long as you're seated a little bit upright and you allow your hips and your shoulders to relax. Begin to notice. Notice how you feel. Notice what you meet on the inside when you close your eyes. Then bring your hand towards your chest. So feel the chest and the breath. The connection with the hand on the chest. And begin to soften, soften the throat the jaw and then with a flat hand a soft fist or even with the fingertips you begin to knock to tap on your chest bone so probably your heart will be on your left side but there are people who have the heart on a different place they will know you will know um, so I re will refer to the heart center um, but it's not they call it heart tappings but this is not my intention for this practice so you move through uh, towards your heart and you tap over there on the left side and then in between the heart and the chest bone. So on the left side, in between the heart and the chest bone, you will have the thymus gland. And the thymus gland is a very important gland. It plays a huge role in your immunity system, in your health, uh, hormonal system. But this one particularly, it is like, um, the place where uh, the white blood cells are produced. The little, little fantastic soldiers that come to the rescue anytime you feel sick or stressed or bacteria or virus enters your body. And so by tapping on this place, moving up and down and left and the right and even tap on the collarbone. So if you tap on a bony part, it creates more uh, vibrance. So vibrating into the body, into the tissues, hopefully stimulating this thymus gland. You can look it up if you want to. And we are born with a quite large thymus gland Babies, they, and children, they have a lot of shit going on. They have to become a little bit resilient uh, for this earth school. Um, but after puberty, it shrinks a little bit. And sometimes we want to boost a little bit, hopefully stimulating, stimulating some nerves in our body uh, but also some glands. Relax your jaw. Don't arouse the nervous system while you do this. Just relax. Maybe even put on some music.
You can also do this as a break from your work, sitting behind your laptop. It's okay if you don't need sentence and candles to do this. You can do it anywhere, anytime. Preferably in a traffic jam in a car. Keep the eyes open, of course, but hard techniques, you can do them always. Okay. <clears throat> now, if you want to make them a little bit harder or softer, if you were knocking like crazy, then soften. And relax your hand on that place and just feel for a moment any sensation feel your experience at this moment Try to breathe into your heart, into your hand. So I know <clears throat> we can only breathe with our lungs, but every cell in your body, trillions of cells, every cell needs oxygen. So you are breathing for your whole body and not only for this part. You're breathing also, also for your, at the tip of your toes and the point of your nose and your left ear and everything in between. Now you just centering your focus on the heart and the hand. Imagine millions of cells there and you're breathing right into them. How do you feel? Physically, mentally, emotionally. If you want to wash your face or stretch out, stretching is always a good idea, always, everywhere, anytime, any place. <sighs> Release some shit. Namaste. Thank you.